Bonjour, great to be with We're listening to Radio Escola sa Isabella. Wow! We are so glad to be with you in learning through radio. I am your radio teacher, Teacher Emma Luisa Fernando. I know that you're very excited about this energizing learning experience. So stay tuned and let's start! Oh, yeah! How are you today? I hope you're good and can hear our broadcast. Be sure that you are in conducive and comfortable place while you are listening. Have you eaten your meal? Do not skip it so that you can listen attentively and understand our lesson. Bear in mind, health is wealth. Especially now that we are facing the COVID-19, we must take care of ourselves. Are you ready to learn? Yes, ma'am! Great! Get your module, pencil, and paper ready. You can call your parents as well or your guardian who can help and guide you as we tackle our topic. Are you all set? Oh, yeah! Let's go! Alright! I know that you learned many things in the previous lesson. Let's have a short review. <laughs> now class, what are media vowels? That's right! Media vowels are located in the middle of a word. The word may change its meaning if the medial vowel is replaced. Will you give an example of media vowels? Correct! Sun, sun. As you can see, the word sun, the star around which the earth orbits, is different from the word sun, a boy or man concerning either or both of his parents. The medial vowel U in sun is changed to in sun forming another word. Very good, grade 2! You understood your previous lesson. Yay! This time, let's have an activity. Turn your module 8 on page 3. Okay! I will read each sentence and answer the WH question that follows. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am! Very good! Number 1. The pupils write their names with their pens. What do the pupils use to write their names? Gems, pens, tents. Correct! The answer is pens. Number 2. Jan takes a nap. Who takes a nap? Hans, Jan, or Tan? That's right! It is John. Number 3. The kids are on the river. Where are the kids? Field, river, village. Precisely, the kids are in the river. Number 4. Mom gave Popsy some pots for gardening. What did mom give to Popsy? Box, pots, rod. Exactly! Mom gives pots to Popsy for gardening. Number 5. The box of mugs is kept in the hut. Where is the box of mugs kept? Bus, hub, hut. 
Great! The correct answer is hot. You are doing great. Did you get them all? Let's read the answers. Pens, Jen, River, Pots, Hot. It's your turn. Pens, John, River, Pots, Hot. Well said, kids. These words are words with short A, E, I, O, U. Vowel sounds. Also, you just answered who, what, and where questions in short sentences with the past activity. So, today's English episode will help you improve your skills in reading phrases, short sentences, and stories consisting of words with short A, E, I, O, U, and then answer the who, what, where questions about them. Let's continue with another challenging activity. Turn your module 8 on page 5. Okay! Read the phrases below. Supply the missing letters represented by a number equivalent to the English alphabet. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am! Are you ready, grade 2? Oh, yeah! Perfect! You are given 10 seconds for each item to answer. Let's start with number 1. The girl named... 7th letter of the alphabet, letter E, and then 13th letter of the alphabet. I repeat, number 1, the girl named 7th letter of the alphabet, E, 13th letter of the alphabet. What is your answer? Very good! Letter G and letter M. The name of the girl is Jam. Number 2. Peter. 16th letter of the alphabet. A. 14th letter of the alphabet in Neverland. I repeat number 2. Peter. 16th letter of the alphabet. Letter A. 14th letter in the alphabet in Neverland. What is your answer? Precisely, letter P and letter N. Peter Pan in Neverland. Number 3. Uh, sixth letter of the alphabet, letter I. Nineteenth letter of the alphabet, H in the aquarium. I repeat, number 3. A sixth letter in the alphabet, I, 19th letter of the alphabet, and H in the aquarium. What do you think is the answer? Correct! Letter F and S, a fish in the aquarium. Number 4. Not in the second letter of the alphabet, O, 24th letter in the alphabet. Again, number 4, not in the second letter of the alphabet. O, 24th letter in the alphabet. What is your answer? Absolutely! B and X, not in the box. And last, number 5. 13th letter of the alphabet, letter U, 7th letter in the alphabet, on the table. I repeat, 13th letter in the alphabet, letter U, and 7th letter in the alphabet, on the table. The correct answer is M and G, mag on the table. Who got all the correct answer? Wow! You are all amazing grade 2! Hooray! Do you want some more activity? Turn your module on page 9. Okay! Class, do you have chicken at home? 
you might relate to this poem entitled Bam's Fat Hand by Merla and Abion. Are you ready to listen? Yes, ma'am! That's nice! Listen attentively. After reading the poem, we will answer the following questions. Did you get it, class? Oh, yeah! Okay, here's the story. Bam's Fat Hand by Merla and Abion. Bam has a fat hand, laying eggs in a nice nest. A boy hits the nest. Oh! Bam sobs and sobs. The eggs were broken into the mud. Did you like the poem class? Yes, ma'am! Bravo! Let's answer the following questions. Number one, who has a fat hen? Correct! The fat hen is bomb. Number two, what does it lay on the nest? That's right! Egg is the answer. Number three, what did the boy do with the nest? Good! The boy hits the nest. Number four, what is Bam's reaction? Absolutely, Bam sobs and sobs. Number five, where did the eggs get broken? Precisely, the eggs were broken into the mud. Did you have the same answers? What a great thinking ability, grade 2 learners! Your answers are all correct! Okay, how do you answer WH questions when reading sentences and stories? Exactly! What is used when asking for an object? Who is used when asking for a person? When for a time or date? And where is used to ask for a place. Did you get it, class? Amazing! Let's give it another try with this activity to test if you understood our lesson very well. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am! That's cool! Turn your module on page 10. Okay! I'll be reading a poem. Then... Answer the following questions. You are given 5 seconds to answer each question. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. The Big Tent by Merla and Abion. Jam has a big tent. The family used the tent for picnics on weekends. The tent is yellow in color. Inside it is a box of jellies of different flavors. Again, The Big Tent by Merla and Abion. Jam has a big tent. The family used the tent for picnics on weekends. The tent is yellow in color. Inside it is a box of jellies of different flavors. Number 1. Who has a tent? Very good! It is Jom. Number 2. What is the tent's color? That's right! The tent's color is yellow. Number 3. On what occasion on weekends does Jom's family use it? Correct! They used the tent for a picnic. Number four, what is inside the tent? Great! It is a box. Number five, what does the box contain? Got it! Jealous of different flavors. Did you hit another perfect score? Excellent performance, grade 2! You are doing great! Once again, remember dear grade 2 learners on how you will answer WH questions when reading sentences and stories. What is used when asking for an object? Who is used when asking for a person? When for a time or 
date and where is used to ask for a place. In addition to that, identifying words with a short vowel sound and pronounce these words with comprehension will help you develop better reading skills. Answering WH questions about these short vowel sounds will also improve your understanding of words and thoughts presented in a given text. Did you get it, class? Yes, ma'am! For you to understand more about our lesson, let's have your final activity. Turn your module on page 11. Okay! I'll read the poem twice. Then, choose the letter of the correct answer for each question. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. A Dark Cold Night by Merla and Avion. Dan looks out of the window while he lies down on his bed with sorrow. He thinks of his wish though that on his birthday, he will receive surprises and a bag of gifts. But his thought made it clear. Oh, a hug from mom is something there. Number 1. Who is the boy being described in the poem? Letter A, Don. Letter B, Jed. Letter C, Roy. Letter D, Tim. Correct! Letter A, it is Don. Number 2. Where does he lie down? Letter A, Bed. Letter B, Chair. Letter C, Kitchen. Letter D, Office. That's right! He lies down on his bed, letter A. What is he thinking of? Letter A, his dream. Letter B, his pet. Letter C, his toy. Letter D, his wish. Nice! He is thinking of his wish, letter D. Number 4. What does he finally realize? Letter A, a gift from his mom is much dearer. Letter B, a hug from his mom is something dear. Letter C, a kiss from his mom is something dear. Letter D, a candy from his mom is much dearer. Absolutely! Letter B, a hug from his mom is something dear. Number 5. What lesson does the poem give? Letter A, money is better than anything. Letter B, a gift is much better than a kiss. Letter C, it's better not to receive anything. Letter D, a hug is better than material things. Precisely! Letter D, a hug is better than material things. Did you perfect the activity? Let's have the set B of your activity. Open your module on page 19. Okay! Arrange the jumbled letters in the parentheses to complete each sentence. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. The blank G. The jumbled letters are G, E, P. Is on the table. Number 2. Nanai raises a blank pig. The jumbled letters are P, F, A. Number 3. The man blank the house. The jumbled letter R, X, E, S, F, I. Number four. Mom teaches her blank. The jumbled letters are O, N, S. Number five. The blank runs fast. The jumbled letters are S, U, B. Time starts. Sa loob ng ating tahanan Sa 
Number two, F A T. Nanai raises a fat pig. Number three, F I X E S. The man fixes the house. Number four, S O N. Mom teaches her son. Number five, B U S. The bus runs fast. Let's read the words with short A E I O U sounds once again. Peg, fat, fixes, sun, box. Did you have the same answers? A job well done. You deserve an astounding clap. Congratulations! That's the right attitude. Having an interest and making learning fun are some of the keys for you to understand lessons well. If you have other clarifications, feel free to reach out to your teachers in English or attach your questions in your portfolios to be read upon checking your outputs. Is that clear, class? Yes, ma'am! My dear learners, I do hope you enjoyed our episode today. In the meantime, we'll have to end for you to focus on the other activities in your English module. Alright! 
Make sure that you are always with us here at Radio Escuela sa Isabella. On behalf of our script writer, Miss Jolie Ann Eugenio Crilla, together with SDO Isabella RBI Team Production, I am your radio teacher, Teacher Emma Luisa Fernando. Greeting everyone, a happy and wonderful learning day. Stay safe and to God be all the glory. Tayo na! Patuloy! Patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa Radyo! Radyo! Radyo Eskwela! Radyo!